Hello, welcome to the Monday, December 23rd, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Diddy wrote a follow-up to an article that he published last week with a Visual Basic for application macros in AutoCAD files. Now, these .dwg files are OLE files, so some of his OLE tools like OLE Dump work just great for these files, and he walks you through the process of extracting these macros. And Cisco dropped a rather important field notice late last week, noting that if you are using PKI self-signed certificates, well, uh, they will be expiring with the end of the year. Turns out in Cisco IOS and Cisco IOS XE, if you're using this feature where you are creating self-signed certificates, for example, for HTTPS or for SSH remote access to the device, the expiration date is always set to January 1st, 2020, which, well, is just about a week or so away. So you certainly need to address that. Now, there is a software update available for this problem, but applying the software update is not sufficient. You also have to create new certificates because otherwise you still run this problem where certificates will expire next week. Of course, you can also create certificates using your own certificate authority, for example. Uh, that's probably preferred anyway than just going with self-signed certificates within the Cisco iOS operating system. But be aware, so if you're not able to log in on January 1st, the possible problem is that your certificates expired and then it may get really tricky to actually get them updated because you no longer have remote access to that particular device. And South African tech news portal, My Broadband, has an interesting story about how IP addresses apparently got misappropriated by insiders within Afrinic. Afrinic is responsible for IP address assignments in Africa and well, like everywhere else in the world, IPv4 addresses are becoming a hot commodity. Even more so, of course, if you are trying to get IP address space for not quite legit purposes, then of course you may have a difficult time going to a registrar and asking for these IP addresses. What apparently happened here was that that an insider within Afrinic did look at requests that came in for IP addresses. Then in some cases, these requests were denied. And later this insider then offered IP addresses for sale. Also the insider apparently did manipulate WHOIS records to cover their tracks and make it more difficult to really figure out what's happening. Pretty interesting story and we may see more of this in the future with IPv4 addresses becoming more and more a hot commodity. Probably not a bad idea to double check and make sure that any records that you have uh, associated with IP address and such are first of all correct, that people that spot any issues can notify you if there is a problem and that also there are sufficient controls around what IP addresses you own and how they would, for example, be rerouted. Well, and that's it for today. There will be no podcast tomorrow and on the 25th for the Christmas holiday. 26th, 27th, uh, I'll see uh, whether we'll have a podcast or not. Depends a little bit on if there is sufficient news to talk about. But there will be at least one on either Thursday or Friday. That's it. Thanks for listening and talk to you again, well, uh, after the Christmas holiday. Bye.